Hey fam bam, it's Sienna. Today I am pink, pink earrings, pink panther, pink nails because we are going to be looking at the pink religion collection from Jeffree Star. I'm so excited. I have not bought Jeffree Star in a while actually. You guys, when this collection dropped, I nearly lost my mind. Like if I were to have my own makeup brand, this is exactly what I would do. It's amazing. I have the whole box right here. I have been waiting to open it for you guys. So let's do it on camera together. Oh, pardon the interruption, darling. <laughs> Hello, it is I, the courtesan of class. I am in my business classy attire today, and when I feel like a boss bitch, I make sure I smell good, darling. And you need to smell good too. We cannot just look good, honey. We need to smell the part. Which brings me to Darcia perfumes, darling. We must smell like goddesses at all times. Smelling good exudes power. If you did not know, darling, Darcia is a perfume company that makes designer perfumes for a fraction of the cost. When you get your box, you will receive a sample. So make sure that you test out your sample first. If you do not like it, you can send it back and get another perfume because you're a bitch, you're a boss, and you get what you want. We will make sure that Darcia helps that become a reality. They are here for you, darling, not the other way around. So you will receive your full-size bottle. And you know what? It smells exactly like the real thing. Magnetic top. And you can spray away all day, darling, because it is only $29. When you think about the cost of a designer perfume, they are like upwards of $75 to $100. And who wants to spend that when you could get it for $29? Well, I do like to throw money around <laughs> like it's nothing. Thing. But if you don't have to, why do it? Make sure that you use the link in the description box of Sienna's video, okay, darling? I will return you back to the video. I love you. Ta ta. Right away, I'm like, oh my god, the tissue paper says pink religion on it, and then the stickers even have the pink religion. Like, his attention to detail is epic, you guys. And I don't know if you saw the promo video, but it is the sickest, sickest display of artistic expression I have ever seen. Like, it is absolutely amazing. Okay. I did get the palettes, and then I also got, like, a lipstick, so I want to try that first since I have nothing on my lips right now. Ah! And I also got the setting spray. Look at this packaging. Are you kidding me, you guys? Out of this world. Like, I literally, I'm not going to throw away this box. This box is sick. I just love this packaging so much. I'm just like... I'm obsessed. I get so excited about packaging. I went to school for graphic design. We used to have to do package design as our projects. Oh, the color of this is so gorgina. So I need a mirror and I did buy a mirror. So actually first let's do the mirror. Look at this. Okay, okay. Like I need any more makeup, yeah, no. I have so much makeup I will probably never use it up in my whole lifetime. But you know what, I'm okay with that. Can I get this sticker off? <laughs> this is beautiful. So lightweight, which is kind of nice because I don't really want to be holding something really heavy when I'm doing my makeup. The mirror is huge. I love it. I wanted the pink one, but it was sold out. So I had to go with the gold one instead. That's okay though, because a lot of my house is gold. I can't wait for this. <gasps> it is sparkly AF. Insanely sparkly. I'm wondering if these sparkles are just on the top or if it's actually within the entire lipstick. So, <gasps> are you crazy? No, that's just a topper. Okay. So I think the sparkles are just on the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's literally just dusted on the outside for looks. And then it's just like a nice, soft, glossy. Mm. It feels kind of like a chapstick. So it's kind of just like my exact lip color. Let's see if I put it on my hand. No, it's see how it's literally like clear, like almost your exact lip color. You can kind of see a tiny bit of a hint for just looking like your natural lips, but better. We have a setting spray. How cute, it literally looks like milk. Like a really fine mist. And it kind of glowed me up a little bit, you know? I feel anointed. I really, really want to open up the highlighting package next. Ah, oh, this is just so beautiful, you guys. It looks like a stained glass window and then it just slides right out. Ah! 
good. It's so pretty. It feels so nice. It's all like embossed. So this is all three dimensional. I love packaging, you guys. I literally bought this, all of this stuff for the packaging alone. Like the products are amazing too, I'm sure, but I literally buy this for the packaging. Maybe that's crazy, but this I want to display like on my makeup station. Oh! Oh, the beauty. I've got to put my fingers in this. Oh, <laughs> straight up glitter, baby. The lighting in here, but oh, that shimmer. Oh my God, it just comes off on your hand like crazy. Whoa, fucking intense. Okay, and this one, definitely more of a yellow gold compared to the other one. Legit, like on my nose. And now I have glitter on my nose. Okay, it's a little much. Let's try to tone her down. Just look, my whole face is looking a little shiny. Hold on. I just want to blot like right here. So let me try this highlighter on the cheek and see what it looks like. Gold one. Oh, oh my God. Like I literally don't need hardly any. Hooray cray. I mean, I had a little bit of a highlighter on there before, but that just took it like to a whole nother level. Oh my God. Okay, do you see the difference? Like that just, that just took it there, bitch. Gotta be careful. Can't use too much of this. Wow, and it really does look wet on camera. This is my first like extreme frost, so I am intrigued. The pink one, I'm like a little scared because I feel like it's gonna be something that I would put on the eyes instead. But let's move on to the big cojona, the palette. God, you guys, this is so beautiful. This is epic. Gold etching on the corners though. To look like an actual book, this is sickening. The level of detail. I don't even care if you hate Jeffree Star, you gotta give props to his products, you guys. Like his shit is undeniable. Oh, she's so pretty. I don't even know. I don't even know which one I wanna try. Um, This one, Princess Crown, is really like attracting my attention, so I'm gonna start with that one. So I'm just gonna like mess around with a couple of the colors cause I wanna see what's up. That color looks like it's white, but it comes off way more pink than I was anticipating. Like, wow. And it's like more chunky than I thought as well. That's beautiful. It's like a duochrome pink. So I like to put it on kind of like dry first onto the area and then wet it if I want to make it like more intense. Okay, so I'll just spray this and voila that is a lot brighter than that side brighten this side up wow okay straight away yeah that's what i was looking for that pa pow you know what i mean really pretty color so i just tried this one i'm gonna try this one now all up in the crease wow much more color than I was anticipating. I don't even know why I thought there wasn't gonna be this much color, because it's Jeffree Star. I mean, hello. He's proven to us time and time again that his shit is pigmented. If I had a criticism about this palette, I would say that I wish there was a couple more lighter colors, like lighter, lighter colors to go under the brow and a lighter color than this one to blend because there's not really any pale colors in this palette. They're all very bright. And to blend out on my pale skin tone, I would like something a little more pale. Because now, to put like a highlight here, I'm gonna have to dip back into that first color, Princess Crown, and just kind of like dust it up here, you know? But it's like really pink. So I'm gonna blend a darker color into the crease. Color called Lollipop Luxury. It literally looks like watermelon to me right here. Like salmon, watermelon, I don't know. Let's stick that in there. Holy crap. Okay, really bright. <laughs> it's like a neon strawberry watermelon color. That's beautiful. Oh, that's a lot of color. <laughs> and I like it. Okay, I think I wanna try Dollhouse Lane. Dark one here in the middle. Okay. I'm gonna put it on the outer corner. Oh, wow. I mean, yeah, there is some fallout, so you're gonna have to be careful, but I mean, when your colors are this pigmented, that's pretty normal, you know? And I'm literally just tapping it on. I'm gonna try Jeffrey's World, which is another color that looks very, very similar to this one. I'm gonna put it right next to it. It is just a touch lighter. Not much, though. 
It's just a little bit more pink. Blending that. And then I'm also gonna blend Pink Fever, which looks very, very similar as well, just a little bit lighter, right next to that. Literally like almost the same color. It just makes it like a seamless gradation when you use all three of those. That is so stinking pretty. That, this is the prettiest pink eye I've ever done. Okay, okay, I'm gonna put a little bit underneath as well. Wow, that's so intense. I didn't even have to re-dip my brush. Not mad at all. Okay, I'm gonna go back in a tiny bit with that lollipop luxury just to really like punch up that middle tone a little bit. Just a little, so it blends a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? This is like a sunset of pinks on my eyes. Let me put on eyeliner and lashes so that we can complete the look because it's just gonna look insane until you do that. Okay, so as you can tell, I have put on my eyeliner, my eyelashes, and then I actually did a little bit of lip liner just around the edges to kind of like fill out the lip so that it gave me that more full lip vibes that I usually go for, but the whole entire center is still just only that uh, Jeffree Star lipstick. You can see that it does kind of give the effect of lipstick, even though it is not a lipstick. It's just like a, a creamier chapstick. I don't know how to explain it, but this is the final creation with all my new stuff. I love all of it. I'm so stoked about this collection. I think he smashed it out of the park. I think the colors are amazing. I am so down for this collection. All right, guys, I'll see you in my next video really soon. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll talk to you later. Bye.